it out that jungle that used to be my mango. What the fuck is popping? LBL YSL. My motherfucking set was good though. Three fingers to the sun, two feet to the ground, two eyes on the money. My motherfucking brother Nash in the back, fresh moss right here. We rolling bangers. We rolling bangers and shit. We in here playing SS. Go get that on live mixtape if you don't got it. SS, ESS, ESS. By your boy, produced by me and shit. Me and Gramercy Records and shit. I just wanted to touch in with y'all. She was good. Tat is dropping tomorrow. My first debut independent album with our hip hop distribution. You know, LBOY Cell Incorporated back in the whole thing and shit. It's our first time out the gate. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gave y'all so many mixtapes. How many mixtapes I put out? I think 13. Like 13 mixtapes since. 2007 was my first motherfucking mixtape. So, we was born. About 13 tapes right now and shit. And this is like my first like collection of music that I was like, you know, I was spoiling it and shit, and I was like babying it, making sure that it was just like everything I wanted it to be. I do that with all my other music too. Like SS, how long it took for y'all to get SS? That wasn't my fault though. But you know, I'm a boss, so I take that on the chin. But if it was up to me, that shit would have been out. But I'm glad y'all got it when y'all got it, because SS is like one of my main focus right now. And so is Tat. Which is what this is about. And I can't wait till y'all hear it. Shout out to everybody that's gonna support the album. Shout out to everybody that's been fucking with me. Like, just period. Like, just since the red edition to the Rubik's Cube green edition to the Rubik's Cube blue edition to junk food to the yellow edition all the way out. You know what I'm saying? To fucking what I did after that. After the yellow edition, I think I moved on to Loud Pack 1, Loud Pack 2, Loud Pack 3, uh, number 23. What else I did? LVL Zebra. Tree. So many motherfucking, like, collections of music. Like, I just gave it away. Like, but it was all to get to this point. What else? Oh, Michael Ford. And that was, like, Michael Ford took, like, seven or eight days to do. Like, shout out to all the uh, young producers out there that helped me put that together and shit like that. Y'all know, like, lately with SS, I did the whole tape. And, uh... Shout out to Gramercy Records or whatever, you know, they came in with those crazy sounds and shit like that. Shout out to my crew that was on there. You know, shout out to Bonnie Blunt, shout out to Fresh Moss, shout out to uh, Young Jab, shout out to Nasser, uh, shout out to Young Sex Life, shout out to Kells Merlin, uh, shout out to uh, Killer Calion, shout out to Young L, my niggas that was on there and whatnot. Like, SS is like one of my favorite projects, man. Like, I love that project. Like, I got videos coming for that too, like, don't get it fucked up. I just had to focus on this tat shit and get everything right for y'all. Make sure that shit sounds so perfect. Make sure that everything to the T was right. Like. And I know y'all probably be thinking like, oh, well, with the mixtapes, you do like all this crazy promotion. You be having all these videos down and shit. Like with tat, like, you know, like I had to make sure it was just like, like, I mean, A1, like A-list. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like the way I wanted to go with it. Like I did, I made it all like... Because I know, like, I think about y'all, when I see y'all out there and y'all need something, it's like, I feel like I gotta, like, feed y'all and give it to y'all. So I made it all wasn't even really the, the video I'm talking about wasn't even really the kick, kick, kick off to the, the whole tat shit, like, and what I got for y'all. I made it all just, like, a 1% of what the album was about. I gave y'all that in the summer, like, just like I thought is like, going up maybe one level, and that's, like, crazy, so... Tomorrow's going down, man. I can't wait. November 27th, the album. Shout out to everybody that's coming to Santos to the release party in NYC. Doors open at 8 o'clock or whatever. I'm going to be there like 10, 30, 11 and shit. Me and the whole motherfucking gang. The whole LVL YSL clip. You already know. Shout out to my big bro, Moo, in Canada and shit. Y'all know Moo got banned and shit uh, last May. And, um... That's what kept him from being in America with us since then, you know what I'm saying? So, but the band is up now, so he's able to come back. So in two or three weeks, don't be too surprised, man. We're going to throw that big-ass free move party. He'll be free, so I guess it's like a tall party for my nigga. So, yeah, shout-out to Move. Shout-out to my nigga Sean Travis. You know what I'm saying? My motherfucking captain on that marketing. Shout-out to my motherfucking bro Sean Buford checking in. My motherfucking A&R extraordinaire. Shout out to Moo, you know what I'm saying, my art director and shit. Shout out to Halima, my sister. Like, man, we be killing niggas all the way around, like, <laughs> all the way around. Artwork, niggas don't be fucking with us. When it come to these songs, like, 
it's cool that I it's like that motherfuckers like they listen to my music and they catch on to it and it's like an acquired taste. Like, I like when niggas tweet me and they say, "Yo, I'm like the only nigga, me and a couple of other homies in my school who fuck with Nico." Cause I know what that feels like to be like that. Cause when I was young, I was like the only nigga, me and four other people like listening to Fabulous, like on mixtapes. Before everybody in the school knew who Fabulous was, like we was listening to Fab, we was listening to Cassidy, we was listening to Freeway on mixtapes. And niggas didn't know what he was, and we felt so good. But we knew that there was a breaking point for that person. And look, everybody I name had their breaking point and shit. So everybody that's fucking with me, I love y'all. Because y'all know that this is like the ground up shit. You feel me? Like, and I just started applying pressure on my father's grave. Like, I just started really putting my motherfucking foot on niggas' neck in the last two years. Just on some, me and my crew, like, like I never had like a real stable like manager like that guy that's just gonna be there nah like none of that publicist shit nah like me and my crew like that's all that's all we care about is lvoi sell click we understand what we doing we understand the shit that i'm putting in these videos and the shit i'm rapping about that's our real life like we sitting in a pepsi can right now no bullshit that nigga fresh mall seat say yeah, ss yeah. back there getting faded like I ain't had no motherfucking car before this shit. I had a 350Z when I was young. And I and that shit is gone. And I was his age. I was his age, 19, and I had a 350Z. White. That was the uh, cast with the ghost. Like, I worked hard as hell, you feel me? Like, 2010, my pops passed in January. Like, two weeks after it was became 2010, my nigga. That was like a wake-up call. Like, get right. I started recording Tat like right after that. I started recording the Yellow Edition and Tat at the same time. Same time. So, like you listen to the uh, Rubik's Cube Yellow Edition, it's like it's got that pain and that emotion in there. Like Tat is kind of like around the Yellow Edition, but like a bigger sound. It's got that uh, I don't know. It's got that new shit, that new Nico in there, man. Like it's crazy or whatever. I only got the crew on there too. Like I only put the crew on there. Fresh is on there. We on a record called Going Up. Nas is on there. We on a record called um, I Am. He wrote the hook, man. My young boy getting money. Like, you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know, like, when you write a hook on a song, it's like, yo, you make a lot of money off that shit. So it's like, I just sat back and he he, he wrote the hook, performed the hook. And that's a young nigga. He 19 on his first album. We come from North New Jersey. Like, niggas don't be putting out albums. Like, Fresh Moss is a young nigga, man. My nigga yeah, fresh, yeah. young as hell, like, on my father's grade, 23. like, 23, he in his Jordan year right now, and he on the album, it, it, back in the day, niggas told Fresh when he was trying to find me, I was in Mexico, like, on vacation, he was trying to find me, niggas told him not to fuck with me, like, don't fuck with Nico, yo, he not gonna help you, this nigga's on my album, this nigga been on every mixtape I put out, except for SS, and that's because he was on the album doing something else, like, we did three songs for the album. Me, him, and Jad. You know what I'm saying? Nas got plenty of records. Like, I keep all my young niggas working in. They're going to be superstars too, man. We're going to come up together. So, shout out to my whole motherfucking set. You already know. Shout out to the LVLs. I love y'all. Y'all been keeping me popping since the mixtape. Like, once I really got a grip in 2010, like around the yellow edition, I like really popped the cherry. You know, started being out, you feel know, on the yellow edition. I had spit on there, like, uh, like, you know, just moving around. I started really, like, yo, you got to get the fuck out of North again. Because I got into the game by getting the fuck out of North and coming to New York as a young nigga, you feel me? So doing that, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, hanging in New York and shit and running into motherfuckers and labels and shit. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I learned the game. So, 2010, I woke the fuck up again. And I was like, okay, it's time to really watch the game and get serious. And ever since then, look where we at now. It's just been a constant progression. And, I, you know, I owe it to y'all, like, you know, supporting LVO Merchants, supporting the uh, mixtapes, downloading them, you know what I'm saying? All the places that I came out to and y'all booked them shows. And it's like 150 people in the room. It's like, I love that because I know that those 150 people is like, in tune with what's going on and shit and this year we're gonna work hard to like get this lvl while i sell tour up off the ground this nico tour this tat tour so you already know man shout out to the whole lvl gang shout out to the lvl set you already know this is not gonna be the last video that i do like this i'm gonna do another one before the night is over it's like 
four o'clock right now. So I'm gonna touch back in with y'all in a few minutes and shit. LVL, I said, three fingers to the sun, two feet to the ground, two eyes and the money. You already know. <laughs>